And in the secret place, angels are there to protect God's people. Welcome to today's DDRX. We have been looking at dwelling in the secret place. The secret place is a place of reinforcement from angels. Proverbs 91, 11 and 12. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You see, angels are spiritual beings created by God who help carry out his work on earth. So angels are God's secret agents. They are God's secret agents. Hebrews 1, 13 to 14 says, But to which of the angels has he ever said, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? You see, in the secret place, we have angels at our call and beckon, and they are there to work for us. So angels, you know, they are, they are mighty. You know, they are diverse. They are many. They are diversely employed. And in the secret place, angels are there to protect God's people. You know, they patrol. They give guidance. They fight forces of evil. There was a narrative in 2 Kings 6, uh, 16 to 18, where Elisha's servant, I believe Gehazi, uh, froze when he saw the multitude of the army that waged war against his master and the nation. But Elisha just said <laughs> that God should open his eyes. And when God opened the eyes of his servant, the man saw angelic reinforcement. And this is what takes place in the secret place. The angels of God are there. You know, whether men looking like angels or angels behaving like men, they are all over, you know, to protect us, to assist us, to serve us in the secret place. I want to encourage you, dwell in the secret place. Thank you.